Thank you. Mr. Burleson, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for, for joining us today. Uh, we've heard previously um, from experts uh, this year about the about their concerns of the impact that foreign entities, especially China, have on our on our higher ed institutions. Do you share those concerns? I do. I do. I, I take uh, foreign threats very seriously, and I, I think it's really important that we protect the intellectual property of our universities. Um, previously, um, the previous administration, not not presidential administration, but your department and your agency would release information on, uh, on th and request that information from universities on the foreign donors, mm. their names, uh, their information, uh, their, their, the, the country that, of origin. Um, and your administration has, is not making that list, uh, all of this the same information public. Why is that? Um, as I said before, we take foreign threats very seriously. We've improved our process and have provided at least 34,000 filings that were made public. Uh, we're on track to have the most filings made public and then any other administration. And it was the last administration, actually, that changed the process to uh, with not share names. We're following the same process that they left us. Okay. Um, Madam Chair, I want to submit for the record a letter to uh, Secretary Cadornia from Lance Gooden. Um, on a letter dated January 19th of 2023, you received a letter from R Representative Gooden. Um, do, you, do you care to comment about, or, or did you respond to that letter? You know, our team works uh, very closely with uh, members of the Hill uh, in good faith, and we're gonna continue to have ongoing engagement with them and be responsive to the letter. So in his letter, he, he outlines concerns that he has about your offices, uh, or about the changes in the, your agency to no longer include information on the foreign gifts and contracts that are being sent to our, our schools. <clears throat> Specifically, um, concerns related to the University of Pennsylvania, um, which ha has a connection to the Penn Biden Center, they received from the year 2021 to 2022, $51 million. Um, th that this is outlined in this letter. This is the same location that we know had mismanagement of classified documents. Um, he's, he's requesting an investigation by your department into this. What was your response? Well, as I said before, we're going to continue to be responsive and act in good faith to share information. But I must remind you that it was the last administration that didn't feel it was it warranted an investigation on the, that what you're referring to. So do you, do you have any concerns? Do you believe that an investigation is warranted? We, have, uh, we take foreign threats very seriously, and we're going to continue to respond to letters. And I'm confident that the process that we have in place is creating greater transparency uh, around this information and making sure that people know uh, okay. that we're holding them accountable for compliance as well. My, my next question has to do with the, in a, the school board association letter that was dated uh, 2021 to President Biden. Um, that letter that, um, that was submitted specifically stated uh, that that group later then issued an apology for that letter. Um, when it was during that time, when, were you aware before they drafted that letter? Were you aware, or did you work with the the school board association? Absolutely not. We had nothing to do with the letter that they wrote. Okay, well, that's surprising because the people from the school board association said that that you, that they were writing the letter given direction from the White House as from a request from Secretary Cardona. Yeah, I'll repeat, we had nothing to do with that letter and um, we stand by that. Okay, so according to, uh, so the, the NSBA apologized and this, if I didn't go into this, this is the letter where they claimed that parents, uh, they associated parents who yeah. testified at school board meetings as terrorists they they since apologized. Has your administration uh, apologized? Because after they issued the letter, um, your administration's initial response was supportive of the letter. Uh, I don't believe that to be accurate. Number one, I think our position has been the same from day one. Parents belong in the educational process, and we need to do more to engage parents. Okay, so you you deny or you 
you refute or you, you don't agree with, with the content of the letter in, in regard to parents being terrorists? Absolutely not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you.